A new anti-bullying campaign kicked off in Dubai this week that not only aims to tackle the worldwide epidemic, but also to create an essential dialogue between children and adults. Faraz Javed has the details. Child and teen bullying are at an all-time high, especially when it comes to cyberbullying. It has everyone worried, including parents and teachers who may not even understand how extreme the situation can get. Bullying can be extremely detrimental for a person's not only mental health and mental well-being, but also for their future and their self-concept. So unfortunately, what we're finding is a lot of parents and teachers are not really understanding what's happening to these kids. And on top of that, they're not understanding how much of it actually goes on. Studies reveal that bullies identified by eight years of age are six times more likely to be convicted of crimes as young adults. If bullying goes undetected, the individual can suffer a lot of self-esteem issues, they can grow up uh, developing uh, symptoms of depression, of anxiety, um, they can have really low self-concept, they can feel a sense of uh, shyness and uh, non-assertiveness when it comes to their daily life, and actually after a while they can even become a bully and an abuser themselves. And to combat the epidemic, Cartoon Network has launched a new campaign across the UAE encouraging children to be a buddy and not a bully. Well, it's a global campaign that launched in the U.S. in 2014 and then it was adopted later in the U.K., Europe and Africa. And this year we decided to start the campaign in the Middle East starting with the UAE. We wanted reach. And uh, we wanted to do it on different verticals. Uh, so as you see, it's on their social media platforms, it's uh, in the streets, in the, in the schools, so that when we do the workshops and they see the same kind of campaign, it resonates and it reminds them. To understand the issue further, Cartoon Network also conducted a study which showed that psychological, verbal and cyber bullying are the most common forms of bullying among children aged between 6 and 12. 85% of parents uh, in the UE, they are aware that their kids have been bullied previously or are being bullied right now. So this is quite shocking. That means bullying is an issue. Is it bigger or smaller than other countries? I think we're, we're all in the same range. Male and female bullying, it was almost the same. So it's gender neutral. Uh, cyber bullying is now is a big thing. Cyber bullying is anything that has to do with internet or phone. So the phone can be like prank calls, like uh, texting, and internet can be anything on social media platforms, uh, WhatsApp. It's a new form of bullying. Uh, uh, it's a very hurtful form of bullying because it doesn't stop at school. It creeps into your bedroom and into your living room and it's, it's in, in your phone and in your face all the time. So before it was usually like a one-to-one -one type of bullying where it was you and an individual or like three or four people against one person. Whereas online, cyberbullying allows many individuals, even individuals that normally wouldn't bully, it allows them to, to feel like, oh, they can start judging and, and getting into whatever everybody else is doing. So cyberbullying is causing a lot of people that anonymity and that sense of not being accountable and they're not really seeing what it does to the individual they're not seeing how much pain it's causing so they're not feeling that empathy that we usually get from face-to-face -face contact and that's causing more and more bullying that's being done online as part of the campaign specialized school workshops will also be conducted with child psychologists to create a positive school culture and help prevent bullying among students the workshops will continue until December and will target over 1,000 students for as Javid Emirates News